Welcome back. The western United States and Canada face scorching temperatures to start that week or the week with that warnings, with heat warnings still in place Monday and authorities struggling to bring wildfires under control in both countries. Sweltering conditions hit much of the Pacific seaboard and as far inland as the western edge of the Rocky Mountains on Saturday and Sunday. The U.S. National Weather Service had warned of a dangerous heat wave and said temperature records would likely be broken over the weekend for Casting highs of 125 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit in California's Death Valley, often the hottest place in the country. The National Weather Service said temperatures would dip slightly or would dip slightly from Monday, but added this small relative cool down is of little relief to areas that have seen long term oppressive and above normal temperatures. Meanwhile, Canadian meteorologists predicted highs approaching 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. It would continue in parts of Western Canada on Monday, well above seasonal norms. Also in Canada, more than 50 new wildfires have erupted in the past two days. A fire, meanwhile, in Northern California also continued to grow overnight Sunday, spurred by the heat and increased winds. Authorities said they had received reports of homes destroyed in multiple towns and urged residents to stay away with footage from the area showing burnt out abandoned cars and houses in the state of Oregon the bottle the bootleg fire more than tripled in size between Friday and Sunday gaining more than 100,000 acres according to the US Forest Service